Um, I, I'm not the uh, education, but it's just an observation. Um, cultural usually means uh, <coughs> pattern of behavior. Behavior means patterns of behavior in some of the uh, uh, routine, right? I mean, people used to do in, in a particular uh, context. So, so the uh, so that means that whenever you introduce a technology, and if a technology in, in, uh, in, uh, allow people to do something they could not do before, and therefore trigger a change of the behavior patterns. Yeah. Right? That, that's, I think that's what we see. So in terms of the game, and the children in the past, they could not imagine how to change a game. But actually they can do it, because uh, if they play with a paper game, they can still redesign the game to play that easily in a different way. But uh, they could not see the effect easily. They could not imagine how, when they change the game, how the game will look like. But now with this uh, computer game, now they can think about the change of the game and actually see the effect of changing the game. So the technology enabling to do that. So that means it's a productivity game. Means productivity. Yeah. Because technology usually create increase productivity. But the with increase of productivity and uh, actually trigger creativity. Because they can do something uh, more effectively than before. They can, they can do something new they could not do before. Then change the pattern of behavior, therefore the culture. Culture, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, so I think the uh, answering the question you have, how the digital technology can change. I mean, um, because technology usually cannot create creativity, can only change productivity. Of what people do. Oh, that's just my oh, that's, oh, your last point is a little stronger than your what you said. You only, you think, technology can only change. Um, hang on, no, we need the moment. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, like you said, I mean, uh, information is not equal to knowledge. No. Right. I mean, um, uh, productivity is not equal to creativity. So technology cannot. I mean, uh, make a people creative, but it can give them tools to do something more effective than before. Therefore, they could do something new than before. Right? Therefore, they, become, they can become more creative than before. Just like uh, the pen. In, uh, in the ancient time, there's no pen, right? Because they don't have ink, right? Therefore, when they write or learn, it's very slow. But now they have paper and ink and pen. They can do much faster. Therefore, people can write much creative past than before. Right? So, and it's just a... Just no, a I think it's a really, really good point. And actually, I think the whole history of... You can make a whole history of these... I want to Um. Yeah, there's a, you can make a whole history of how technical, cultural innovations, like the pen, have, have the, the, the history of making things doable by people that were undoable before. And they're not, uh, not always physical things. When um, the, the invention of, the al of algebra, of, of an equation, the idea of an equation, which is not that long ago, about 350 years ago, meant that suddenly, many, many people could express the laws of physics, which previously you needed a Newton to do. And that wasn't a, that wasn't a physical, it was a, a, a cultural technology. So, yeah, I completely agree with you. Um, the other thing is, of course, that when you have a new technology, it's, there's always a time gap before it becomes clear what that technology is good for and how to use it. For example, with none of us, even I, am not old enough to remember when film uh, got sound, because originally movies just had pictures and no sound. And um, when sound was introduced, people were not sure, you know, was the sound... It, it, originally, people only heard sound of speaking when you looked at the camera was pointing at the person's face and then it became clear that you could do other things you could have people talking off screen you could have all kinds of other things so learning how to interpret the new technology was a really important way to come to terms with what that technology was possible for. Um, 
This is taking a more surprisingly long time. I think I'm going to... Oh, let me give an example of... I don't know if it would fit into the heading of productivity. I'm not sure. Let's see. 